welcome back to another video this is bruna today as you can see we are going to be crocheting this super super cute amigurumi bat for halloween this is my second video for halloween the first one was the witch hat and also i'm going to be having another video this friday so stay tuned for that video it has little wings as you can see so here's the back. The other one you'll see a little bit better because I'm going to be doing in brown. This one I did in black because I think it's more Halloween-y and it looks super cute. And then we have little feet as well that I'm going to be hanging them like this in my garland. If you don't know, I am doing a garland with three different designs and then you can crochet as many as you want to fit into your garland. So I really hope you liked today's tutorial on this Amigurumi bat. And if you do enjoy, don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch more videos like this one so enjoy and now let's begin first starting with the materials we are going to be using so first we have the yarn here I am using a DK number three yarn for all my yarns I have brown pink for the nose mouth area this one and then I'm using white for the teeth and then I'm using little eyes. If you want to add these, they are really fun. I'm going to be linking all the materials I'm using in the description, so feel free to check it out. And these little eyes, they look super cute. So I would really recommend you guys trying out adding eyes to your amigurumis. It's just the cutest little thing. <laughs> and then you will need also stuffing. I have this one right here inside this glass. And then for my tools, I'm going to be using a small pair of scissors. Also, I'm going to be including a tape measure. And then I'm going to be using a four millimeters hook, a tapestry needle and a stitch marker, just one, because we are going to be working in continuous rounds. So yeah, these are all the materials and now let's begin. I'm first going to be starting with my brown yarn and the head of the bat. So we are going to be starting with a magic ring, but you can also do a chain of three or four and then create a ring if you prefer. So after the magic ring, chain one. It's not gonna count as a stitch, it's just so that we can start the first round. And then we are going to be doing six single crochets going around the ring. And then now you can close the magic ring. And now we are going to go into the very first single crochet. You can always count count backwards to see which stitch you have to get so one two three four five and six and which is this one and then into that stitch we are going to be doing a single crochet and this is going to be the first stitch of each round so into that one we place a stitch marker so for this round we are going to be doing increase all the way around so into that same stitch where you did the first single crochet we are going to be doing another single crochet and then following a stitch two single crochets next stitch two single crochets into that same stitch and then repeat the same all the way around and you're going to be having 12 single crochets in total for the second round. Now here I have the last stitch, so two single crochets into the last stitch and now I have 12 stitches going around. So now for round number three, we are going to be removing the stitch marker and we are going to be just crocheting one single crochet into the very first stitch and return stitch marker. So now for the following stitch, we are going to be doing an increase. So two single crochets into the next stitch. And then the following one is going to be only one single crochet. The next one, two single crochets into the same stitch. And then keep on repeating that all the way around. So one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochets into the following stitch. And for this round, we are going to be having 18 stitches going around. And for the last stitch, we are going to be having an increase into that one. So two single crochets into the last stitch. So now for round number four, I'm going to remove stitch marker. 
single crochet into the very first one return stitch marker and then we are going to be single crochet into the following stitch so one single crochet into the following stitch and then two single crochets into the next one so the repeat is going to be one single crochet into the next two stitches and then increase into the following one and then repeat the same all the way around and for this round you should have 24 stitches going around and then into the last stitch is going to be an increase so two single crochets into the last stitch so now we have to do four rounds with only single crochets and no increases so to do that you're going to be removing the stitch marker and then single crochet into the very first stitch return stitch marker and then you're going to be single crocheting all the way around into every stitch so no increase no decrease just one single crochet into every stitch around so we are going to be keeping the next four rounds with 24 stitches so i got into my last stitch so just one single crochet into that and then to continue you're going to be removing the stitch marker and then single crochet into that first stitch return stitch marker and then you're going to be repeating the same steps just one single crochet all the way around into every stitch following the 24 stitches around so for rounds number five six seven and eight we are going to be only having single crochets around without increases so once i have round number eight completed I will be back and then we are going to move on into the next step. So as you can see, I have round number eight completed with 24 stitches around. So just following the same steps as before. So now for round number nine, we are going to be starting with the decreases. So remove stitch marker. And we are going to single crochet into this very first stitch and then return stitch marker and then one single crochet into the following stitch and now we are going to be decreasing into the next two stitches so go into the next stitch pull up a loop following a stitch pull up a loop and keep those loops on the hook like this and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops together so that's a decrease and now you're going to single crochet into the next two stitches and then decrease into the following two so insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop keep that on the hook and then insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop keep that on the hook and then yarn over and pull through all loops together and now you're going to be following the same steps all the way around so one single crochet into the next two stitches and then decrease into the following two at the end you are going to be having two stitches left and then you're going to decrease into those last two stitches now we are going to be adding the eyes the little nose mouth thingy i'm not sure what that is but i think it looks cute is that a mouth a nose we don't know <laughs> and then the little fangs <laughs> so I'm going to just hide this middle yarn just inside we are not gonna be using this and we don't have to weave in and I'm going to be starting with the little eyes first so I have all these ones with me I'm going to be linking where I got this one from in the description they are super super fun to use and super easy they have some large ones and some super tiny ones and I'm going to be using the one that it's here into the third container space thingy <laughs> and these ones as you can see they are about a centimeter and then we need the backing too and for the backing of this one is the smaller size so you're gonna get two sizes of this one look we have the large one and we have the smaller one so you want to get the smaller one so for the eyes you have to choose where you want to place them i'm going to be doing just under round number six so one two three four five and six 
So they are gonna go into this um, line here. So let me place a stitch marker into that so we know that this is the one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So into this line. So now place the eyes into any of the little gaps. And then you wanna move to the back and you wanna secure this with the backing like this. It's going to click in place. Once you push it down, there we go. And this is how it looks. So pretty, oh my goodness. And then I'm going to be skipping. Here I've skipped three. So I'm going to be doing the same with this one because I really, really liked how the other one looks like. So we're going to be skipping three. So three stitches, one, two, three. And then placing here on the following stitch. And then we are going to be doing the same. Take it to the back. And then we are going to secure this in place. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> we have the tiny eyes now completed. Now we are going to be doing the little nose and the fangs. So now you're going to get the pink yarn. And you want to thread this yarn into your tapestry needle. You will need just a tiny bit and we are going to be using double yarn to create the mouth nose and then you want to choose where it's gonna go i did into the next round so the one down just below the line that we did the eyes so that's what i'm gonna do so here we have the line that we did the eyes so i'm going to be doing into the following one going down and all you have to do is to choose a stitch that you want. I'm going to be doing basically into these three that we that we have skipped here, but into these ones, into the following round. So first we have to just secure this yarn in place here at the back. So I'm just going to choose one stitch. Make sure that it's not showing here on the right side. And then leave a little tail at the end and you're going to make a little knot here double or a triple knot is going to be completely up to you and then you're going to be hiding the end inside the head so go into the very first stitch remember the ones that we have skipped so go into the first one but into the next round this one so bring the yarn forward and then you're going to be skipping the next one and go back into the following one. So if you want, you can keep with one, um, just one stitch. But now if you want, you can add one more so that it's a little bit thicker. So you're gonna go back into that first stitch. So bring the yarn forward and then backwards into the other stitch. The same one that we did the previous stitch. As you can see, it looks just a tiny little bit thicker. And now you're going to be taking here to the back and then you're going to choose a stitch. And then we have to go into this stitch three times. Um, and then the third one, we are going to fasten off. So we have the first one and then the second. And now into the third one, before you go all the way through, you want to go into the loop first, right at the end, and then you're going to just pull this nice and tight to fasten off. And there we go. And now you can cut off this yarn, leave a little tail, and then you can just hide the tail here inside the head. And now we are going to be doing the fungs. So let's get the white yarn. So double strand, as you can see, so that we don't have to do a lot of stitches to make the thickness that we want. So you're going to do exactly the same, secure this yarn here at the back first. So go into the same first stitch that you've created the mouth. And then you're gonna go down into the following stitch and kind of match the same stitch as you are doing here into this round. So go down into any stitch that you want, basically. You can do however you want. So this one is the one that I'm doing. Try not to pull the yarn too tight. And then you're gonna go into the other side. 
the other side of the mouth and then just go down into a stitch into the previous round you can see that I did this one and then skipped one and following one so it's basically the same stitches as the mouth but into the following round and that's it <laughs> look at this it's so cute and now we can fasten off this yarn here at the back so choose a stitch go into the stitch three times so we have the first one the second and then into the third make a little loop and then go through the loop and pull nice and tight to fasten off so now I'm going to cut off this yarn leave inside and now we can continue the head uh, we are going to be adding the stuffing probably into the second to last round because then um, we can do the last one and then close the head off so previous round here we have 18 stitches around so now we are going to continue here with our decreases so remove stitch marker one single crochet into the very first stitch and then return stitch marker into this first stitch and now for round number 10 we are going to be doing one single crochet and decrease into next two stitches so we have the first single crochet at the beginning so we are going to decrease into the next two stitches and then following stitch one single crochet make sure that when you're doing the single crochets you make them tight when you're doing the decreases here so go into the next stitch pull up a loop then you make it tight by pulling the yarn that you are working with and then single crochet now we are going to be doing decrease into next two one single crochet into the next stitch and decrease into the following two stitches and then keep on repeating the same all the way around so i got here into my last two we are going to be doing the same so decrease into these last two stitches so now before we move on we can add stuffing inside the head so just place as much as you want now I'm going to remove the stitch marker and we have to decrease all the way around so the previous round we have 12 stitches now for the following one we are going to be having six so you can if you want you can place a stitch marker into this last stitch just so you keep on track but you don't really have to so go into the next two stitches and decrease next two and decrease it's a little bit hard this last round but it looks really nice at the end <laughs> so next two decrease and then follow the same all the way around and now we have here the last two stitches so remove stitch marker and then decrease into those last two as well here we go so now we can chain one and then we are going to leave a nice tail so that we can close here the bottom and also we are going to sew the head into the body so make sure that you leave a good amount of yarn here at the end and then fasten off and then we can just close this little opening around so thread this yarn into your tapestry needle so now to sew this close you're gonna go into every two stitches and then sew it down so into the next two so you can see here next two stitches sew that down next two sew that down and then next two sew that down and this should be enough 
Now you're just going to pull nice and tight, choose one stitch and then you can <laughs> just fasten off. Do you see how the, the tapestry needle went like this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, go through one stitch three times but then the last time you are going to fasten off. So create a little loop at the end. Check this stuffing out, <laughs> coming out of the inside of the head. And then go through that loop and fasten off and you're going to be leaving this yarn here so don't cut it off because we are going to be using this yarn to sew the head and the body together so now here we have the head now completed you can just move around a little bit the stuffing so it's all around the inside of the head so this is how it looks like we are going to now leave this aside so now let's move on and create the tiny little ears of the bat so they look like this as you can see so I made one already and I have to do another one. So for the ears, we are going to be starting with a magic ring and then we are going to chain two in which is the first stitch and then we are going to be doing a double crochet and then we are going to chain three and then we are going to slip stitch into the back of the very first chain that we've created at the top of the double crochet. So we slip stitch to create a peacock. And then you're going to be creating a double crochet into the ring and then you are going to chain two and slip stitch into the ring. So now here we have the ear now completed. You can now close the ring, chain one, leave a little tail so that we can sew the ear into the head you don't need a super long tail just so that we can secure that in place with the shorter end we are going to weave in at the back of the ear because we are not going to be using this one so go into the reverse of the ear go into a couple of stitches here at the back then just skip the first loop and then go into some other stitches. Skip the first loop and then go back into some other stitches. And that's it. So now cut off the yarn. So now go ahead and make a second one. So we have two and now we can attach the ear in place. So get one of them thread the yarn that you have here into your tapestry needle. So now you're going to choose where the ear is gonna go. So I'm going to be doing kind of leveled here with the first round. So choose any stitch that it's leveled with that, just here. And then go straight. You wanna make sure that it's nice and straight, kind of like this. So choose another stitch of the third round. So just kind of go under the third round like this. And then go into those two stitches one more time. Make it nice and tight. And now what you're gonna do, you're gonna get one little stitch of the ear here at the bottom. Just choose one stitch at the bottom on one side. And then you're going to choose another stitch of the head like this sew that down just so that we can spread a little bit more the ears around and now you're gonna move this to another stitch at the bottom here of the ear you can see the other side and then we can just secure that in place into another stitch just like this so just secure the ear in place basically so now two Weave in, we are going to move this yarn to the back of the ear first. So now we can just choose a stitch here at the back and then we are going to fasten off before we hide this yarn. So go into thy stitch twice and then a third one by creating a loop and then you're going to fasten off and now we can hide this inside the head. So you're going to choose two stitches, one at the beginning and one into the other side. Then go through that, skip 
that stitch and then go into another one and then go back and then do that one more time skip that one go into another and go into other stitches just go kind of through the head just to weave that in and lock it in place now we can cut off the yarn and we are done sewing this year now we can do the same to the other side to the other ear so here we have the head of the bat now completed this is how it looks like so now let's put the head aside let's get the brown yarn again and let's begin with the body so we are going to be starting the beginning is going to be exactly the same as we did for the head so starting with the magic ring and then we are going to chain one not counting as a stitch and then we are going to single crochet six around the ring one two three four five and six close the magic ring and then you're gonna go right into the very first single crochet and then you're going to single crochet into that and this is the very first single crochet of the round so now you're gonna go into the next stitch and then we are going to increase so two single crochets into the next stitch and then one single crochet into the following stitch now two single crochets into the next stitch one single crochet into the following one and then into the last stitch two single crochets into the same stitch now remove stitch marker single crochet into the first stitch return stitch marker so this second round have nine stitches so we've started with six now it's nine so now for the third round we are going to be doing two single crochets and an increase into the following stitch so we have the first single crochet so into the next stitch one single crochet and then increase into the following stitch so now one single crochet into the next two stitches and then increase into the following one and then repeat the same all the way around the last stitch it's going to be two single crochets following the pattern around and for this round we are going to be having 12 stitches now remove stitch marker single crochet into the first stitch return stitch marker so now for the fourth round we are going to be doing three single crochets and increase into the following stitch so we have the first one so one single crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into the following stitch and then increase into the next one so two single crochets now one single crochet into the next three stitches and increase into the following one and then repeat the same one more time so now remove stitch marker single crochet into the first stitch and return stitch marker for round number four we are going to be having 15 stitches going around and now for rounds number five and six we are going to just single crochet around keeping the 15 stitches around so continue around one single crochet into every stitch around following the 15 stitches so once I have this round and the following one completed in which are rounds number five and six I will be back and then we are going to do round number seven onwards together all right so i am finishing here now round number six with single crochets all the way around so remove stitch marker single crochet into the first stitch and return stitch marker so now we have 
round number six completed and then and this is how it looks like you can see that it's creating like a oval shape so now for round number seven we are going to be doing three single crochets and decrease into the next two stitches so now we're going to be starting to decrease and round number seven is going to have 12 stitches around so we have the first one so the second so one single crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into the following stitch and now decrease into the following two stitches you already know how to decrease if you have to go back and watch it again feel free to do so now follow the same steps one single crochet into the next three stitches and then decrease into the following two so i'm going to hide the end inside the body so it's not on the way now remove stitch marker return single crochet into that stitch and return stitch marker and now we are going to be doing two single crochets and decrease into the following two and for round number eight we are going to be having nine stitches around so we have the first single crochet so now we have to do the second so one single crochet into the following stitch and decrease into the next two so now repeat again one single crochet into the next two stitches and then decrease into the following two and then do that one more time so single crochet into the next two and decrease into the following two there we go and now we are going to single crochet all the way around so no decreases anymore so single crochet into this first one return stitch marker and now we single crochet into the nine stitches around so I got here into my last stitch so this one is stitch number nine so now the body is now completed we are done so remove the stitch marker and then you go into chain one leave just a little tail so that we can close at the top later because we have to do the legs now before we add the stuffing because it's easier without the stuffing inside so fasten off and leave this here so now let's make the legs so choose the stitch that you want to use to make the legs i'm going to do it right here and then pull up a loop with the yarn the other the tail here we are going to hide inside so don't worry about it. it it can be here on the outside and now we can start the legs so we are going to chain four or as long as you want to do the legs I did a chain of four skip the first stitch go down with single crochets into the next three stitches and now into the same stitch where you did the attaching of the yarn you are going to slip stitch and now we can chain one cut off the yarn and we can fasten off so to secure even more in place we are going to get both tails and then we are going to make a knot with these two yarns just a double knot is enough and then we can just move this yarn to the inside of the body and that's it through that same stitch move the tails to the inside of the body like this so once the first leg is completed you can repeat the same here into the other side choose another stitch on the other side and then just repeat exactly the same all right, so the little legs are now completed. We have to just stuff a little bit the inside of the body. So go ahead and do that. So to sew this close, you're going to be doing exactly the same as the head. So go into two and two, 
stitches around and then you're going to close this shut just like this once it's done choose a little stitch fasten off and then hide this yarn inside the body just like this cut off the yarn so now choose the side that you want to be the front I'm going to be doing this one as the front and then we are going to just attach the head and the body together so put the two together like this and then you're gonna get one little stitch of the body and then one little stitch of the head and sew the two together and then repeat the same all the way around So once you did the sewing all the way around, attaching the head and the body together, we can now hide this yarn inside the body. But first I'm just going to be moving here at the back and then I'm just going to fasten off. And now we can hide this yarn inside the body or the head, it's going to be completely up to you. There we go. So here we have, <laughs> this looks so funny, but here we have the body, the head, the ears, the feet, legs now completed. So this is how it looks like. It's so pretty. <laughs> it looks funny, but so cute at the same time. Now we are going to be making the wings. I didn't really measure any of the parts for you guys, did I? I completely forgot. Let's do it now. So the head, just like the height, I would say, it's about five and a half centimeters. The body is around five centimeters. And then the width is about four. It's also five and a half for the head this way as well, because it's a little round. And then the tiny little ears are two and a half centimeters. Yeah, the little legs two and a half as well so now I have one of the wings completed I'm going to measure this before I show you how to do it so from the bottom here going angled to the top it's about 10 centimeters and this way is about five and a half centimeters and here at the top it's about nine centimeters so you can see the idea was this I know that I wasn't going to do exactly like that, but the idea was this. So I did the little curved uh, part here at the bottom and then this little point right at the top of the wings. So we are going to be starting with a slip knot and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we are going to be skipping the very first chain going to the second single crochet and then you're going to single crochet into the following three stitches so we are going to be having four here at the beginning four single crochets and then into this last one we are going to slip stitch into here we are going to be slip stitching on this side of the wing so that it creates kind of like a rounded shape as you can see so you want to keep this slip stitch stitch in mind when we turn to the other row so first you chain one turn project and then you're going to be skipping this stitch of the slip stitch and then you're going to go into the following stitch and single crochet now we are going to be placing a stitch marker right into this very first single crochet. We are going to use this stitch here when we come back into the row. So now we are going to single crochet into the next three stitches. So 
So one, two, and three. So now we chain four. So one, two, three, four. Now we, you are going to turn the chain so you can see the back loops. We are going to be skipping that first one, go into the back loop of the second, and then you're going to slip stitch into that one to create like a little peacock. So now we have the work like this because we've turned the chain. You are going to turn the chain until you see them, um, the right side of them, just like this. And now you're going to single crochet into the following two chains that we have here. So one and two. And now you have to single crochet into the following stitch. If you want, you can place a stitch marker into the slip stitch one, into that chain. We are not going to be using that, just so you know. So when we return here, we are going to basically skip this one. So if you want, you can place a stitch marker here. And we are just going to be using the, the actual single crochet stitches. Now for the following stitch, we are going to increase. So two single crochets into the next stitch. And now we are going to create one single crochet into the following stitch. And then where you have the stitch marker, we are going to slip stitch. Now chain one, remember this stitch when you turn. There we go. You're going to skip that stitch and then you're going to single crochet into the single crochet stitch. And then you're going to return stitch marker into this very first single crochet. Now we are going to single crochet into the next stitch and then increase into the following stitch. So two single crochets into the following stitch. And now you're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. Remember that we are not single crocheting into the slip stitch um, that is here at the end. The peacot, basically. So single crochet into the next three. So now we are going to be repeating the same steps that we did for the previous row. I'm just going to be removing the stitch marker from here. We are going to be using for the next one. So first chain four. And then you're going to slip stitch into the second chain. Now, if you want, you can place the stitch marker into this second chain so that you are not going to get that one. There we go. Now we basically turn the project so you can see the stitches nicely. So the right side of the stitches. And then first you go into single crochet into the next two chains. So one and two. So now we got into the single crochet stitches. We are going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then we are going to increase into the following one. So two single crochets into the next stitch. And now you're going to single crochet down until you reach the stitch marker. When you get into the stitch marker, you're going to remove that. And then you're going to slip stitch into the stitch. Chain one, turn, skip the, the slip stitch and then single crochet into the following stitch and return stitch marker. So now we are going to increase into the next stitch. So two single crochets into the next stitch. And then we are going to single crochet all the way down into every stitch, just skipping the one that it's right at the end with the stitch marker. this last stitch here. Now we can remove the stitch marker. So now I'm going to be doing the last row with the peacots. So I'm going to start with a chain of four, repeating the same steps. Slip stitch into the second. If you want, you can place a stitch marker here. And then turn, single crochet into the next two chains single crochet into the following one, 
following stitch and then increase into the next one. And now single crochet all the way down into every stitch and then at the end into the stitch marker you go into slip stitch. So we go into the stitch marker, remove that and then slip stitch into that stitch. So now we are going to be doing the last two rows. So starting here the same way, so chain one, turn, skip the slip stitch stitch and single crochet into the following stitch, return stitch marker if you want. And then we are going to single crochet all the way down. So for this row we are not going to be having any increases. There we go, so we leave that stitch, that we have the stitch marker. We are going to chain one, but make sure that this chain one is really, really nice and tight before you turn your, your project. And then you're going to be skipping the next stitch, the very first one, and then going to the second and then slip stitch. And then we are going to be kind of going halfway into the project with slip stitches. If you want, you can just mark the middle stitch down, just like this. And then you go into slip stitch until you get into that stitch. So just slip stitch all the way into the stitch marker. Into that stitch, you go into slip stitch into that stitch, you go into chain three, and then you go into work a picot by slip stitching into the back of the third chain, and then you go into slip stitch again into that same stitch. And now we continue with the slip stitches all the way down. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five stitches to create slip stitches here at the end. There we go. So chain one, leave a little bit of yarn so that we can do a sewing. For the shorter, yarn here we are going to weave into any stitch that you want so now to weave in you're going to choose a couple of stitches so go through a couple of stitches down and then you're going to be skipping the first loop and then go into those same stitches again and then you're going to do that one more time skip the first loop and then go back into those same stitches and the weave in is done Cut off this yarn. So once you have the first wing exactly as we did, you're going to be making the second one, but this one you want to do the weave-ins of both ends because we are just going to be using this yarn to do the sewing together like this. So you're going to be putting both wings together like this. And then you're going to be threading this yarn into your tapestry needle. You are going to kind of match the stitches and the and the rows and you're going to just sew the two together. It's pretty simple. Just get one stitch of one side and one of the other and sew the two together. So when you get at the end, just go through that last stitch one more time and then you're gonna go through the loop before you finish the sewing to fasten off this in place. And now we have the wings completed. So now you're gonna get the body of the bat and then you're going to choose exactly where you want it to go. I'm going to be putting it right in the middle, just like this. And then here at the back, what I like to do, you don't have to do this, but I just like to place a bigger stitch marker, kind of like just going through the body and the wing, just like this, so that the wing is not going to move around when I'm attaching it in place. And all you have to do now is just to go through the bottom of the wing and then make sure that you go through the body as well one stitch of the body just here underneath so go through that 
and then you are going to come back into a stitch of the of the wing like this now we can remove the stitch marker because it's already in place and now you're going to be doing the same all the way up so go through both the wings and the body and sew the two together like this kind of until you feel like it's attached in place you're just gonna go kind of through a couple of stitches so now what I like to do here when I get to the top I'm just going to kind of move this yarn into a stitch that is close to the head that matches here with the wings so I'm probably going to move around this point here And then I'm going to go through a stitch that it's here into the head, maybe into this stitch. And then I'm going to move all the way to the other side so I can also attach the other side in place. So find another stitch of the wing here on the other side. And then you're going to attach this in place to here on the other side. And that's it. Now you can just hide this yarn into the inside of the head if you want. You can always fasten off before you hide. I'm going to be doing that. So I'm just going to go into one stitch and I'm going to fasten off as I've been doing previously. And now we can hide this yarn inside the head. Just like so. So now we are done, we can cut off the yarn and the bat is now completed. <laughs> so yeah, this is how you crochet the bat. It's looking pretty, pretty cute. And here we have the black one. <laughs> it's looking so pretty. And if you end up crocheting this bat, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook at Brunaticality so that I can see your take on this one and also how you are going to be using for Halloween. I saw that one of my followers, she already created the witch hat for decorating her car. Oh my goodness, imagine how cool that's going to be. And she said that she's also going to be making the bat so she can put both of them together to decorate her car. I think she's going to be putting around the mirror. I really like the idea. If I had a car, I would definitely do that as well. And I would decorate for each season of the year. <laughs> that would be something that I, I would do. Oh well, oh, I'm probably gonna do in the future when I have a car. <laughs> And these are the three witch hats that I created for my garland and I have the tutorial on my channel. I'm going to be linking that in the description so feel free to check it out. So now we have two designs for the garland for our 3D garland. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next for my garland. Let me know. Let me know what I should do in the comments below. So yeah, this is how you crochet this super cute bat. I really hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel so you can watch more Halloween tutorials and also other crochet tutorials that I have coming up this year. So thank you so, so much again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.